Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning on our prayer request today. Logan's hip still hurts. Pray that it gets better. Continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie and her son Michael. Um, I'm supposed to go June 12th to get uh, have a mole taken off and sent off to be checked or tested, but um, if this poison ivy doesn't get better, it may be postponed because it's really pretty bad. I've got a real bad place here right beside that the place they're taken off. And now I'm starting to find it other places. Now it's on my left arm and my left uh, shin, I guess you'd put it. So it's just popping up all over. I, I hope it doesn't get any worse. I hope it gets better. So <laughs> anyway, Jackie's side is still hurting. Continue prayers for her. Uh, Tim went to the ER on May 26. He has liver cancer, and they found out he has an infection. Pray that he'll get better. And Michelle has cancer, and she's going to have a second surgery to remove it. Pray they get it all, and that she'll be okay. Okay. All right, our scripture of the day today comes from Luke 6. 43 through 45 and this is Jesus speaking no good tree bears bad fruit nor does a bad tree bear good fruit each tree is recognized by its own fruit people do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Okay. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Words Reflect Our Heart. How do you eliminate foul language? A high school chose to institute a no foul language promise. The students took an oath saying, I do solemnly promise not to use profanities of any kind within the walls and properties of our school. This was a noble effort, but according to Jesus, no external rule or pledge can ever cover the odor of foul speech. Removing the stench of the words that come from our mouths begins with renewing our hearts, just as people recognize the kind of tree by the fruit it bears. Jesus said that our speech is a convincing indicator of whether our hearts are in tune with him and his ways or not. Fruit stands for a person's speech. For the mouth, if we really want to change what's coming out of our mouth, wait a minute. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Christ was pointing out that if we really want to change what's coming out of our mouths, we first have to focus on changing our hearts as he helps us. External promises are useless to curb the foul language that comes forth from an untransformed heart. We can only eliminate foul speech by first believing in Jesus and then inviting the Holy Spirit to fill us. He works within us to inspire and help us to continually offer thanks to God and to speak encouraging and edifying words to others. What do my words and speech say about my heart? How am I inviting the Holy Spirit to transform my speech these days? Dear Jesus, please help me speak words that honor you and edify others. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. And I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.